Are you sitting there wondering what a thriving accountability partnership looks like? Well, you don't have to wonder any longer. Today, I have a special treat for you because in this video, I sit down with my accountability partner, Amy Guerrero, recovery coach and founder of Regruven, as we share what makes our accountability partnership thrive. Welcome to The Inner Fire with me, Heather Evans, your confidence coach and career vision strategist. It's time to live your life of purpose while owning your authenticity. Let's ignite our potential together. I say this to all of my clients. You need an accountability partner, but you don't need just any accountability partner. You need one that you have chemistry with. And I am so fortunate that I met Amy Guerrero, recovery coach and founder of Regrooven when I did. She and I have a magic spark that allows us to thrive in the partnership that we've developed. We hold one another accountable, we meet on a regular basis, and as you'll hear, we've given each other permission to call the other one out when we need it. So stay tuned in this video because you're going to watch as Amy and I unravel what makes our accountability partnership thrive. Hey, Amy. Hi, Heather, great to see you. Good to see you, everyone. I am super excited about today. I have been blessed, and I do not ever use that word lightly, but I have been blessed to find an accountability partner that has literally transformed my life. She is an amazing woman. Amy Guerrero, the founder of Regrooving, she lives and thrives in her Regrooving way of life. Amy, seriously, I... Uh just you are such a light and i am i am just beside myself with gratitude mm. for the way that you came into my life and for the way that you have shown up for me time and time again as an accountability partner both with work and with other things um before we get too deep into it though can you tell us more about who you are what regrooving is what you do Totally. Yeah. I'm happy to be here. And I feel the exact same way about you. Like regrooving is my way of life and it's also my business. And so there's not a lot of separation. And for me, because I put my whole heart into the things I do in life. So to have you reflect to me mm -hmm. and show me my blind spots is, you know, makes everything easier and more in the flow because without that like I would just my record would stop moving forward I mean that's just the bottom line right regrooving is a way of life I'm a radical recovery coach you guys and I help people in recovery take their just like sober lives up to the next level I help people find clarity. I help people find purpose. I help people thrive in their life and recovery and have fun doing it. So much of it has to do with mindset because everything does. And, you know, like that's why this relationship is so important, Heather, because like if my mindset isn't right, then I can't be a regrooving light. I can't help someone else keep their record moving. Yeah. If mine's a little stuck and if I've got huge blind spots. So um, I never really understood what an accountability partnership was until I took myself to this level. I don't know. We've never really talked about this. So I don't know yeah. how you feel about that. But I feel like I've had so many like accountability partners in my life. But this is the real deal. Yeah. It's one thing that you said before about the mindset it's so true you know i'm a confidence coach and a career vision strategist and people will often look at me and say like oh like your mindset is totally in line but what they don't know is that behind the scenes that like without an accountability partnership like the one that we have my mindset would not be where it is like i would not be firing on all cylinders with the confidence mindset that I have, if I didn't have someone like you to check in with, to hold me accountable, to keep my record spinning <laughs> as well. Um, and I think like you, I've never experienced this level of accountability. You know, I've worked with coaches and I've worked with mentors. I've worked in kind of group settings where, you know, we have 
tasks that we hold each other accountable for. So I've experienced accountability in a, in a variety of ways and in a variety of situations, but I have never, I don't think I've ever been so intentional about saying to someone, hey, you and me, accountability partners, let's put this together and really make this a partnership mm -hmm. that will enable us to confidently, courageously up-level every aspect of what we're doing. I, I don't think I've ever actually been this mindful about it before. And I think because I'm experiencing the benefits of a mindful and intentional accountability partnership, one that we've been very strategic about, um, I, I, I know that other people can benefit from this same type of partnership that you and I have fostered and created. And that's why I really wanted to have this conversation with you to share with people some of the things that we do and some of the ways that we work together so that they can implement those same strategies and see if those work for them. Absolutely. You know, I, I haven't thought about all of this in a while, so thank you for mm -hmm. even getting my brain there. But um, I remember the first time that we took our conversation off, you know, off of the platform that we were working in. Yes. And we were very strategic from the beginning. Yeah, we really were. Yeah. I don't even think I've ever had that. You know, there was so much loosey goosey with other, you know, I mean, I'm a yoga teacher. Like I do a lot of things and yeah. so are you, but you know, it's like, there was like this little like out, you know, like there was an exit strategy kind of, mm -hmm. or a, um, if we both agree, then, you know, we'll just, we'll just talk about boys the whole time or something, you know, <laughs> but you know, right. you know, like, no, we have this amount of time we meet on this day. And so something about how we started, and this is, I think, super valuable to everyone, how we started is why we're so successful now, six months, seven months later, with almost even the same exact schedule as we kept when we were in, you know, really just in the throes of like creating new businesses, because you and I were already in business for ourselves. Yeah. And maybe that's a different, I don't know, but I think that, yes, this is so valuable, you guys. Like how you start and finish things is so important as a solopreneur. How you start things and how you finish things. A whole new level of integrity has birthed in me mm. that I didn't have uh, when I worked for other people and maybe didn't even have in my real estate business where my heart wasn't so involved. So, right. right. And actually, you know, maybe that's a good place to start is how would one even find an accountability partner? Because I think people might be looking out there, you know, you might be looking out there watching us talk about our accountability partnership and you might be saying, well, I don't even know where to find someone, Heather and Amy, like, where do I even go? And you know, I, I recommend to people, there are a variety of ways that you can find it, but one thing I think has been critical to our accountability partnership, Amy, let me know if you agree, is that we were in the, in the process of building new businesses. Like you said, we were business owners before. We were in the process of building new, new, a new dynamic business for ourselves. And we were around the same time frame in the development of our business. So because we aren't coaching one another, because we aren't mentoring one another, and okay, maybe we do coach one another every now and then. <laughs> we are coaches. We're both coaches. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know how to live any other way. I'm like, yeah. can, you, can I coach you for a second? Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> but because we were in each other's world in terms of where we were in our business development, I think it was so much easier for us to relate to one another. So it's not like you were opening up a brick and mortar art gallery and I was opening a online Amazon retail store. You know, we weren't, we weren't like kind of coming at this from two different places. Right. We were both creating businesses that were going to be online. We both were creating coaching businesses um, and we both had a desire 
to really be successful in making this happen. And because we were in these similar, because we were in this similar pool, mm -hmm. I think it made it easier for us to connect and understand each other's worlds in terms of what we were grappling with, with the business. And then as we got to know one another so much better, it was like, oh yeah. And all of this is intertwined with our world. Because as you said, for both you and I, our business is life and life is business. We don't ask each other to segment or separate or compartmentalize because everything impacts the other. Yeah. And I think that that's you guys um, that are listening, like that's such an important just realization and acceptance to have around your business. Like if you are going into business and you know that like, it's okay. It is human. We are not meant to have, you know, 17 different identities. And, you know, it really is that coming together that makes the business successful. And so when you're looking for an accountability partner to look for someone exactly like you said, Heather, like that's not only on your level, like I think I was taught to maybe look up sometimes when that mm. was intimidating. And so I wouldn't show up fully because I wasn't confident enough that I deserved the attention or my question was stupid or, you know, all of those things that we can get in each other or in our heads about. Right. With us, it was like, we had the same questions. And, and one thing that we did right away, and I think that this is critical is we identified your strengths and my strengths and we, you and I, you definitely can get in the numbers way before I'm ever even willing to talk about a number. <laughs> yeah. And, and we, we identified that like, like week two, I think, you know, yeah. like your analytical mind and my like creative, like I'm going to, not good. I'm not I'm not going to follow the process and if I was off the process you would bring it back so my point of that is like you guys look for someone who's strong where you want to be stronger yeah and and going into it with that mindset of not that I'm weak like I like the way that you approach that and my brain doesn't do that so can you teach my brain how to do that Heather and so do you see the difference in that ego, right? Like, I'm not wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. My brain just doesn't do that. So can you teach my brain to do that? Yes. And, you know, the compliment that you've been for me is your just innate ability to kind of look at the structure that you've been handed, whether it's like in a system or in like the, what you're supposed to do to be successful and then your ability to go, okay, I'm going to break it and I'm going to do this, this, and this, because that feels a lot better. And that has been such a breath of fresh air for me because I think I can sometimes get a little structured. And just as an example, Amy and I were talking about um, social media strategy the other day. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> like, so what is your strategy? How often do you post? What platforms are you posting on? And Amy looks at me and she's like, whenever I feel called to. <laughs> and I sat there and I was like, yeah, but don't you have like a a schedule, like a routine? And like, and she, she goes, no. <laughs> and that's that's the breadth of you you actually give my brain freedom mm. to go okay just what feels what what can be organic versus what has to be in a more controlled what has to be done in a more, a more controlled manner yeah and so that that's been your for me that's been the probably the top strength that you've offered me is just being able to look at things and think much more out of the box, much more organically, um, and, and much more um, just sort of in alignment with what's being asked for in that moment. Yeah. Well, I mean, that most people fit into one or the other. Of yeah. Like, in, so in the world, like if you're listening, when you're listening, like, which one do you identify with more? Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, even like my background, I'm like, I can't pick, I don't know what color. I mean, 
there's many levels of why the rainbow is behind me and it has much to do with the balance of the chakra system. However, I also just like a lot of choices. Yeah. So when you're thinking about that, like no from Heather and I, like, who do you identify with more and look for those traits in the other person that we're explaining to you? Cause it's okay to know what you want. You guys, like, it's okay to be like, this is what I want out of you. And to go into that relationship that way, you know, I'm sober as you probably know, but like I interviewed my, my sponsors in the 12 step <laughs> program and people were like, no one does that. And I was like, I do. <laughs> and like, you know, I picked someone who was totally outside the box. He took me through a whole different way because that's what was going to work for me. The system that was in place was not working for me. And so, you know, I think it's important to just know yourself and to be confident enough to have to interview five or six people and, you know, really talk it out and feel it out. And, and if you got to quit, it's okay. You know, like, yeah. If it's not working out. It's okay to, to, you didn't do anything wrong. Yes. And I think that's a really nice segue because you and I have given one another permission on so many different things. You know, one thing to know is when you're finding your accountability partner, you're going to want to create structure and permissions about what can happen in the relationship. So Amy alluded to this, but you know, when Amy and I first got started, we're like, okay, we're going to meet every Thursday at 10 a.m. for a bare minimum of an hour, and we're going to start with work, and then we can transition into personal stuff if that's what's being asked for. But we knew that we wanted to get the work done first because of where we were in the evolution of our business. And when Amy and I first started meeting, we were like in the thick of it. We were in mega grind mode, and we were just like having to churn out so much stuff to get things off the ground and rolling. And so that's what was necessary at that time. We also, when we first started meeting and Amy and I are, I think you and I are just really good about this in general, but we kept asking permission, mm -hmm. you know, do I have your permission to call you out when I see you distracting? Do I have your permission to <laughs> call you out when I, or do I have your permission to say when, you know, I think that this isn't such a great idea or, you know, do I have your permission to give you critical feedback at any time? Do I have your permission to ask for feedback at any time? And I think that opened up a level of trust yeah. right away because you and I established very early on, do I have your permission to? Yeah. And so as you're creating that accountability partnership, not only are you going to want to establish a schedule and an idea of what you want this time together to look like, but then what permission does your accountability partner have for you? Do they have the ability to, Amy's great at calling me out. Amy's great at looking at my copy and saying, no, this is, <laughs> Heather, this is not what needs to be said right now. Let's sit and tweak this. And because of the amount of trust, Amy, that you and I have established, it's a no brainer to say, of course, like call me out. You have full permission at any time to, um, to really tell me, say anything that, that you think needs to be said because I trust you and I know that you have my de best interest in mind. Like I know that you want me to be successful just as I want you to be successful. Yeah. And, yeah. I mean, it's so powerful. I mean, it just shows us, I mean, I'm so incredibly excited about how far we've come Heather <laughs> and you guys yeah. will all feel this when you have it, like someone to reflect to you, like, Oh my gosh, we have come a long way. Because I can't see it with my own thinking, you know, mm -hmm. but something that I also hear in here and you guys like starting a business is hard and all of my trauma and all of my, um, insecurities and all of my stuff has been up since, especially cause I pivoted. I've owned several businesses mm. like, but I pivoted to this, like, this is my story. This is my heart. Like regrooving is like amazing and I love it so much but what I love the most is the transformation that I can provide to people right mm -hmm. and if I didn't feel this is the thing and I want you guys to hear this so much 
when we ask for permission from each other, my central nervous system, and everyone has one, <laughs> relaxes yeah. to a point that my subconscious can relax and stop trying to make me feel safe by faking it or trying to look good. This is really important because we're all just animals at the end of the day. So without us developing, Heather, that permission-based thing, I would have never trusted you enough to kind of let it all hang out. Mm. And I wouldn't have known that I wasn't doing that because my subconscious would have been doing that subtly. Right. Because, you know, I was just thinking the other day, you were like, no, that doesn't work. And I was like, Shh, I don't get offended at all. <laughs> but if somebody else were to tell me that, I'd be like, who the hell do you think you are? Do you know how hard I worked? I would have gone right into defensive mode. Mm. So please hear us when we say this. Asking yeah. permission is not only important, like on the superficial level, but on the biological level, you guys, I mean, it is brilliantly like apparent. Now, just in this moment, I didn't really get this until now. Yeah, I wouldn't have been this honest with her if I wouldn't. Yeah, that's big. Well, and this is something, you know, this doesn't just happen in an accountability partnership, everyone. You know, when I work with my clients, I always ask permission. And there's freedom for my clients to ask me for permission as well, right? So like, it's a two way street, regardless of if you're going into business for yourself, Regardless of if you're starting, you know, wherever you are on your journey, this piece about permission in your life is essential. Yes. And what Amy's talking about with the nervous system and what it does, the impact that it has on you physiologically, mentally, emotionally, when you have permission, when you give yourself permission and when you give other people permission, it just invites a level of that trust that Amy referred to, but I feel so much more confident when I have permission to be myself fully, when I can just show up as me mm -hmm. and I've got that permission to do that. And it's just this safe zone of being able to be exactly who I am, just as I am on any given day the impact that that's had on my confidence level has been insane. Totally. And if you have an accountability partner now that you don't feel that way with, just stop and restart. <laughs> Please. Like, honestly, start and restart because what all you're doing is like re-damaging that like, oh, accountability partnerships don't really work, you know, or I just can't find the right person or I'm broken or the story just has mm. so much to where, I mean, we're giving you permission right now that if you don't have that level where you can just be like, holy shit, I don't know what to do. And my bank account is zero. Like I can tell Heather anything, yeah, anything. And I feel safe. And if that's very important and, you know, all of us um, think we have to hold back certain parts of it but whatever we're holding back is also holding our business or our personal relationship or our courage or you know whatever it, you know how we're raising our children like all of these things are getting held back because we're holding ourselves back and you know you'll tell me when i'm holding back you're like that doesn't sound like you who the hell wrote that and I'm yeah like, <laughs> totally well. and i think if you have the right accountability partner it's the perfect place to practice showing up. Oh yeah. Right. Showing up fully. And here's the deal with an accountability partnership. And this is, you know, tip number three, show up and show up consistently. You got to be there for your accountability partner. So it's not a one way street. Like I didn't look at Amy and go, okay, well you're my accountability partner. So it's all on you to give me feedback and to be there for me and to call me out and tell me when I'm not doing things. No. That's not an accountability partnership. That's a different thing. <laughs> an accountability partnership is you show up for one another yes. and you celebrate one another, right? So when Amy has a success, right? When I know that Amy is having an impact on one of her clients, I'm like, yeah, right on because 
Amy's success is critical for me. Mm -hmm. I celebrate the work she does. It is so essential, everyone. Her work is essential in this world. So I know that when she's having a success, she's making a positive difference in, in the world. And more importantly, Amy, I get to celebrate Amy living her soul's passion, living her soul's purpose. And you all know nothing lights me up more than seeing people thrive in their soul's purpose. And when Amy has success in her business, in her life, I get to celebrate that for her. And guess what? Amy reciprocates that for me. When she sees me blowing something up, right? She is there for me. And so I think one thing that you and I have talked about, Amy, is the whole compare and despair. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> It's so real. And if you don't have it's words, it's so real. Yeah. And some people I don't think have words for it. Yeah. But have you ever um, been on Instagram, you guys? Going, oh my God, look at how great they do it. Look at how great they yeah. do it. Take screenshots of someone else's work. Compare. No, never. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what that does to, again, like I'm very much in the nervous system, regrooving. But like what that does subtly is creates despair no matter what. No matter how strong and confident and courageous, no matter how much work I've done with you, no matter how great my client and is doing, like I start doing that and like all my old stuff comes up. Yeah. Like almost immediately. Yes. And here's what's great about when you have your accountability partner, you can actually talk about compare and despair. You can say like, Ooh, Hey, either I was looking at this person, but also like there are times where Amy is just doing something phenomenal and I'll have a little like, Oh, Oh, like, Oh, I should be doing that too. Right. <laughs> and here's the thing with Amy, I can openly be like, Oh man, I saw you doing this thing that looks so cool. Like, I should be doing that too. And Amy will look at me and she'll go, no, you shouldn't because that's not you and that's not for your people, right? And then it's just that mind shift, right? Of like, yeah. oh, right, 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 right. And that's the great thing about having an accountability partner where you can just be open and honest and say like, oh, right, hang on. You just caught me in compare and despair. Like, even if it's with each other, we can sit there and go, oh, wait, like we just got caught up in compare and despair. Like, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I love like let's not beat around the bush here because we don't yeah, yeah. women are the flipping worst at this mm. worse and it's not purposeful it's subtle and it happens all the time so what i've seen even just in our tribe heather is that accountability partnerships don't work out because there's low level compare and despair going on right right and yeah. not being honest with each other yes and yes. so the whole relationship is built on like faking it oh god don't even get me started on that <laughs> um <laughs> faking it so that they continue to feel it's being led with the ego yeah and you know, like if you can just tell your partner and be like, oh my God, if you get one more client and I don't, like, I need you to help me here because I'm about to hate you for it. Like, I can tell you that. Yeah. You know, like, and yeah. you wouldn't be like mad. <laughs> but if you're feeling that with your partner and you aren't saying it out loud, it's going to explode. That's right. If you're in an accountability partnership where you cannot be real, raw, honest, truthful, it's not the right partnership. Because if you're in the processing of up-leveling your life, your work, and you genuinely want to up-level, I'm not just using that word lightly here. I know it's the buzzword of the day, the up-level. But if you genuinely want to up-level, like if you are in the business of making a difference, mm -hmm. you got to realize that you're going to be doing your own work first, yeah. constantly, always. It's always happening. So if you don't have an accountability partner that you can be real, raw, and honest with, and you can do that work with, like do that soul work with on yourself, then it's not the right partnership. I don't care how tied together you are. <laughs> 
Or, so, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. No, uh, go right ahead. Really quick, because one thing like that's real, when we have so much going on um, as small business owners that sometimes we're like, well, this is better than nothing. And so that um, this is good enough for now, we'll go on. This is probably outside of my coach, like the most important relationship I have. Like yeah. I will easily cancel other people to make sure that I meet with you. Yeah. And like you want that feeling in your bones about the person that you're working with. And I know it's hard to break things off and like we're all naturally people pleasers because we want to be of service. But this is where that boundary is like so important and critical to your success. Mm -hmm. because you know you're gonna keep getting that same stuck loop and the record's gonna skip um and you're gonna do it out of guilt and mm, it's just not good no way yeah. everyone yeah. in your life will know you're not happy with that relationship except for you sometimes and that's, that's like, so, please, so please hear this when we're telling you this because i'm regrouping success like has so much to do with heather mm. you know and same with the inner fire like in all honesty, everyone, like this is not a joke when I say that my business, my coaching business would literally not be where it is today if it was not for the accountability partnership that I have with Amy. And I mean that truthfully, like this is, this is beyond impactful this accountability partnership because when you have an accountability partnership that thrives, that is working, that is fluid, that is real, you're going to expand in so many different ways. I mean, you know, Amy, you and I have talked about so many different things like business systems. Mm -hmm. We've talked about marketing strategy. We've talked about coaching strategies. We've talked about um, how to be in service. We've talked about how to make an impact. We've, I mean, we have talked about the entire like solar system of what it takes to start a business. And then within that, everyone, we also get the added benefit of being able to bring our whole self to the table, which means that I know through this accountability partnership, I have actually up leveled my personal life as well. Mm. I've shown up differently for myself because of conversations that Amy and I have had. So when you are looking for that accountability partner, and again, everyone should have one. I don't care if you're going into business for yourself. I don't care if you're transitioning to a new job or a career. I don't care if you're like in the midst of it with your relationship, find an accountability partner for whatever it is you are looking to shift in your life that you could be raw, real, authentic with every single time. Yeah, 100%. And it's different, you guys, than a coaching relationship. Yes. Than for the people on my tribe that are listening to this, this is totally, if you're still in a 12-step program, this is totally different than a, a sponsor. This is totally different than the advice your friends will give you. This is totally different than the advice that you're going to listen to on YouTube, like this watching us right now does not substitute you taking action and finding someone for you. Like what we're saying here is totally coming from the heart. And I think you can feel that, but it's, it is a very unique relationship. And I hear people all the time say, Oh, I already have that. I already have that. And they're saying no before they even explore the curiosity of, how can that benefit me? You know, like I don't, Heather and I don't exchange anything, but we exchange the most important thing, energy. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. all it is is energy. And like, yeah. there is not a green fucking dollar, excuse me, but that you can put on this relationship yeah. for me. That's like, right. I don't care how much money you offered me. If someone was like, you got to get rid of her, I'd be like, <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's not happening. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and actually, Amy, I think that you bring up a really important point that this isn't a coaching relationship. This isn't a mentorship. This isn't a friendship. I mean, we're friends, but... <laughs> yeah, but that's like, developed over the time, too. Exactly. 
an accountability partnership means you aren't paying the person, right? There's like Amy and I don't pay each other to have these strategy sessions, to have these conversations. Um, Amy isn't mentoring me. So she's not, she isn't somebody who's been there, done that, and is guiding me through to the next step. Um, she's not coaching me. I mean, we, again, we coach each other every now and then, but that's just because of who we naturally are, but we have permission to do so, but that's not what we do on the regular. Um, and it's, and we aren't in friend zone. Like I don't share what I share with Amy about my business and aspects of my life that are impacted by my business. I don't share that with my friends. Right. right? So your accountability partnership, it is something incredibly unique where there's an exchange of ideas, an exchange of support. Uh, it's conversational. It's all about celebrating success. It's all about being able to celebrate the wins. It's all about pushing the other person. And this is really critical, pushing each other to be the best version of yourself you can possibly be mm -hmm. with that critical eye with being able to look at something that your accountability partner has done and go, mm, hold up. Is this really getting you to that next level that you and I have talked about? Is this really going to get you closer to that vision for your future that yeah. you have in your mind? Because we've shared that with one another. We know where the other person wants to be. And so we can ask each other that and say, Hey, you know, you just wrote this copy. You just put up this Facebook live. You just did this. Is this getting you to that next level? And here's the thing. If my partner, if my husband were to ask me that, I'd go into defensive mode, right? They're like, yeah. And Amy and I were talking about this. I'd be like, yeah, I, um, I worked really hard on this. What do you mean you don't like it? I love it. This is what I did. You should be supporting me, oh, right? Like you're five years old. And you're like, oh, <laughs> totally. <laughs> but Amy can look at it and go, uh, Heather, really? That's what you did? Like, oh, let's, let's think about this again. And I'll sit there and go, oh my goodness, you're so right. Thank you. Mm. Thank you for seeing it for what it was. Thank you for seeing me for who I am. Thank you for holding my future vision for me when I wasn't holding it for myself. Right. and for getting me back on track mm. yeah because what you're what i'm hearing is fear is not going anywhere yeah and so heather helps me manage my fear mm -hmm. because she can see you know like i just like in a car you have blind spots and i got them and sometimes they like everyone else can see them but like i'm me i can't see them and that's like fear is in my way it's usually something mm -hmm. old that i can't see and i don't want to see and again my nervous system's protecting me but i trust her so much that she could be like whoa it up hold on here it is i don't like details and <laughs> heather does thank god <laughs> I mean, i'll literally be like can i just blow that off and i and i almost did that to her the other day she, i'm like oh is that big of a deal and she's like amy everything's a big deal <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I was like Rrr. and I went and fixed it I went and figured out the problem and I, I was err for a second because I don't like details but I need I desire to have you continue to call me out on that stuff no matter how it makes me feel because honestly when it comes to me being of service with Rick Rubin how I feel doesn't matter yeah. I can take my how I feel to our back door and be like, oh my gosh, I'm about to have a meltdown. Can we please talk just personal today? Which is another huge thing that does develop over time. But when it comes to me stopping myself from being of service to my tribe, to the people that need my help and haven't met me yet, that want my help and haven't met me yet, Heather, if it wasn't for you, I'd be in my own way all the time. Yes. And that is by far, I think the greatest impact that this accountability partnership has had is that it makes us better for the people we're in service to. So here's the deal with Amy and I, we're not in the business of coaching. Okay. Like, yes, we have coaching businesses, but we are not in the business of coaching. 
We are in the business of partnering with people to transform their lives. In Amy's case, it's thriving in a regrooving, sober way of life. In my case, it's up-leveling confidence so that you can live a life that is aligned with your soul purpose. This is what we do. Amy and I hold space for one another in our accountability partnership so that we can in turn hold space for the people we work with on a daily basis. Amy makes me better for my clients. Amy makes me better for the people in my life. Most importantly, Amy makes me better for myself. And when I'm better for myself, I'm better for everybody else. And Amy has this great a phrase that she uses at the end of almost everything, and that's we're better together. Yeah. And it's so true. And that's an accountability partnership powerhouse is when you are better together. So if you're not feeling better, <laughs> like, <laughs> if, if you're dreading your accountability partnership call, <laughs> that's a sign. And, um, and I think that that brings me to the next piece that I wanted to talk about, which was you know, we, we've developed this schedule. We have a great rapport. We check in with each other. I, seriously, we check in with each other pretty much on a daily basis. If I were to ever have a work wife, Amy would be it. Um, but what happens, Amy, when things go wrong? And this hasn't happened for us, right? But I've had partnerships that have fallen through. <laughs> Sounds like you've had some other experiences. And I'm wondering for anyone out there who does have a partnership that you're kind of like, oh man, the magic isn't there, or I only want that magic. What do you do? What, what have you done when it goes south? I'm going to repeat this because I think it's really important. How you start things and how you end things is very important. And I can tell you that I started running my own business the first one was in high school, and um, I didn't, no one taught me how to start and end things. I just, I, I've never really had like a, a boss that was hands-on with me. I had all these jobs where I was an entrepreneur, so I, it's interesting because no one taught me how, my dad and my parents did a great job, like, you know, they, my, anyways, yes, my parents did a great job. But how you start things and end things is everything. And I can tell you that I've had a lot of relationships that I ended very poorly because all my trauma came up. Mm, mm. I don't want to be abandoned. You guys, like everyone knows this about me. So it's like not a secret. Like, please don't leave me or tell me you're going to leave me well. So if you're in a relationship with someone that you want to end or it's just not going well, please end it well. Like have the integrity for yourself because you know what? When you do, you're going to attract your Heather into your life. And that's just how it goes. Like energy is energy. And yes, it's a little woo woo, but not really. Like, have you ever ended a job badly or gotten fired? And then you're taking all that energy into your next thing of like, I'm a victim. I lost my job. I lost my shit. And so that is so important. And then there's the other end of it where you just continue to have the relationship despite how much grief it's causing you. And mm -hmm. guys, like we've all been in this relationship on a personal level. So mm -hmm. everyone's experienced the boyfriend or girlfriend or partner that you're mm -hmm. like, okay, it's time to end this, but it feels so good. Yes. And that's the same thing that can happen with this. Like if we ever outgrew each other, we would be like, you know what? This isn't working. Like now we can be friends <laughs> for reals. <laughs> but I mean- <laughs> It's so important. So if you are feeling like you want to make a change or if you're feeling like you want to go into something for the first time, how you start and how you end things is everything and do it with integrity of not necessarily maybe even who you are right now. Do it in the integrity of like where your business is going, where your partnership is going, how you want your kid to do it. Like all those things that we're really living for because it's not the green dollars. I don't care what anybody says. It's not about the money. It's about like all the L-O-V-E. So. Yeah. I love what you said. And yeah, I mean, I can fully, like, I fully admit I have not ended relationships always. 
in the best way. And for me, um, it's about my desire. It was about my desire to be liked by everyone. Right. So you were talking about your fear of abandonment. My mine was, I can't disappoint anybody. I have to be liked by everybody. And so when I would end a relationship, it would just be like, okay, I'm walking away. Yeah. Because I didn't want to deal with the, the emotional drama of, you don't like me now. Feelings. Sorry. Yeah, totally. Which (laughs) I know. Um, so here's the deal when you're, if, if you're in a situation where you need to end the relationship, be honest. And that goes along with this integrity piece that Amy's talking about. You can say, you know, is this relationship serving both of us at the level it needs to be right now? Because I'm feeling like it's not, and I'd still like to stay in contact with you, but I think it's time for me to find another accountability partner, right? If somebody were to say that to me, I would say, oh my goodness, you're so right. You do need someone else, right? And that's one of the awesome things about Amy and I is that we actively talk about, like, (laughs) we talk about the future and we've openly talked about the fact that at some point, we might not be the best accountability partners for each other. We might need something or someone different. And we're okay with that because... And because we're okay with it, we know that our relationship will continue beyond this. So Amy and I have no idea when or if or ever that day will come. But if it does, because we've already been open about it, it's not like some giant elephant in the room where if I were to say it, Amy would feel abandoned. Or if I were to say it, I would feel like I've got to get out of this because I don't want to hurt her feelings and all that weirdness that can come up. Instead, we just look at the other person and probably go, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's time. Yeah. And, and I've still got you. And I've still got you, right? I still want you to succeed. I still want you to be successful. I love you. I, like, want everything for you. Can you I know? tell you guys, like, I look forward to having, I, I like men. <laughs> so I look forward to having this relationship that I have with Heather with my partner, my male partner in my life. I'm just going to put that out there. To- <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's how you should feel about your accountability partner for sure. Um, so everyone, when it comes to finding an accountability partner, find somebody who is on the same wavelength as you, they understand your world, maybe they're at the same point or evolution or at the same place on your journey. Make sure they share your values. We didn't talk that much about that, but I'm pretty sure it came through. Like Amy and I, we have, we have similar values. We value the same things. We're very much in alignment there. So make sure that your values are the same. Um, create a schedule, create a schedule, <laughs> show up consistently and give one another permission. And then allow yourself the freedom to show up fully. And then when it stops working, you stop working it and you shift it to something else. But everything that we... Sorry, excuse me. Or talk about it. You know, like... Talk about it. Yes. Yeah. So everything that we've shared today, again, we've shared because we are personally right now experiencing the impact Mm -hmm that a thriving, positive, wholesome, rockin' accountability partnership can have on our lives and our business. And we want everyone to have this. Like, again, it doesn't matter what you're working on, where you are in your journey, you have to have this in your life. It is a game changer. Totally. So. Yeah, I mean, I want to encourage that again. Like, it doesn't matter if you're like, I just want to rock out being a mom or a partner or a, you know, badass teacher or whatever it is that you're up to in, or just a badass person, like human. Like, I just want another human to hold me accountable. It's powerful. Like no other relationship you will ever have in your life. And if you start it and you finish it well, or don't finish it at all, but start it well and have everything that Heather just said, and all of the things are important. And so if you don't know your values, you guys, write down your values, know what you're coming, you know, if you don't know your strengths, 
make sure that you talk to your coach or your partner or your best friend, like get those things reflected to you before you go start asking for things and you're not clear, you know, because that's how those relationships start in a negative way. Cause you think they have what you want, but you don't really want what they have. Yeah. And that yeah. happens. It totally happens. Yeah. Because so humans are real quick, but because yeah. humans, we are, you know, we have big hearts, but we're led by this silly head sometimes. And we're trying to look good rather than trying to attract the right person. Yes. From our heart. So have your heart forward. Yes. There's a risk that it could get broken and you just got to take it. Yep. And guess what? If you're right, if you're with the right accountability partner, that heartbreak will be because they're going off to do amazing, awesome things. And you're so damn excited for them. Like that's like your heart will just be breaking out of joy and bursting with love for that person. The way mine does on the regular for Amy. <laughs> so Amy, how do people find you? Oh yes, absolutely. Um, regrooven, R-E-G-R-O-O-V-I-N, regrooven.com. Um, everything, social media, Facebook, Instagram, at Regrooven. Very easy. We're living a Regrooven way of life. And I'll have to tell you, of course, like moment to moment, you guys, Heather and I choose to be our best self. And sometimes our best self is like not that great. And she gets to tell me and I don't take it personally. And I just get to have it reflected. So yeah, at Regrooven, I look forward to meeting you. Yeah. So I will include Amy's all of her contact information, all of her social media handles. You can connect with Regrooven and Amy using the links below. So you're going to want to make sure to check her out because what she is doing is changing this world. I am not kidding you people. You want to see what this woman is doing. You may want to be working with Amy. You probably know somebody who should be working with Amy. So get in there, get invested in what she's doing. It's incredible. And as you know, I'm Heather, your confidence coach and career vision strategist with the inner fire. I'll include all of my details below as well. And I am going to include a checklist for you about how you can get together with your accountability partner and the things that you need to think about when you are creating the accountability partnership of your dream. So be sure that you grab that. That link is going to be below. As always, make sure that you hit the subscribe button grab that bell so that you get notified when I post new videos every Thursday and stay ignited out there. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. I hope you enjoyed this conversation that I had with Amy and that you found some interesting little gems that you can use in your own life and work. So I want to know what did you find most helpful from today's conversation? comment below and be sure to let us know. If you want to join a community of like-minded soulpreneurial women, I know what you need. You're going to join my VIP Facebook group where you can get the support you need, interact with other women soulpreneurs, and maybe, just maybe, find that accountability partner you've been looking for. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know by clicking the like button. Subscribe so that you get notified anytime I post new content and then share this video with your friends and loved ones. You know those people out there who need an accountability partner. I will see you soon.